So what do you do when you've rinsed Pete Doherty's book for stories? You turn to his mum's book, obviously. In all seriousness, it's a very interesting read, especially with the ability to look back on it in hindsight, given it was released in 2006. I knew it would have been difficult for the family, but it's only when reading the book that you get a real idea of what an addict's family go through, especially one that's in the limelight, and the knock-on effect it has. And at one point in the book, I was quite amazed to read that Jacqueline Doherty had written to Wolfman in a bid to rid herself of the hatred she had for people around her son. In October 2003, she wrote the following. Dear Wolfman, Greetings from an autumnal Holland. I'm sorry I don't know your name and can't hazard a guess as to what it might be. For me, the name Wolfman has conjured up a thousand worries this past year, knowing that Peter was ruining his life, his soul, in your company. And indeed, as a mother, I've hated the sound of your name. I believe we were in the same venue one evening. My daughter Emily saw you, but I was both very glad and so very sorry that I didn't see you. Since then, your very name has brought much fear to my heart. Peter is very fond of you indeed, and I know that. I once shared with him how much I blamed you for his demise. He said that I mustn't do that, and he has made his own choices. I would now like to ask for your forgiveness for the hate I have felt towards you in my heart. I am a Christian, and Jesus says we must love our enemies. I had felt that you were an enemy, as I blamed you for Peter's hedonism. I now see that Peter is fully to blame, and I now wish you well indeed. I will be praying for you constantly that the power substance has over you will leave you forever. I don't know if you believe in God, Wolfman, but that doesn't matter. He knows you inside and out, and he loves you deeply, and longs to see you restored to be yourself. From the very little I know about you, you have a great talent, and are a fine fellow, but your use of chemicals has crippled you. I implore you today to call upon the name of Jesus, and you can be delivered and transformed. I know it. I've seen it so many times. This is my prayer for you, son, to come heart to heart with your creator and truly live again. May God bless you richly with wisdom and peace in your heart. I have no idea how to get this letter to you, no idea where you are, but I believe you will receive it somehow. With love in him and his precious name, Jackie. The book then goes on to describe how Wolfman received the letter and even phoned Jacqueline to have a chat with her. She then describes them as being good friends and talks about a time they met in the courtroom and bonded over their mutual affection for Marvin Gaye. As you can tell from the content of the letter, she is very religious and that's a running theme throughout the book. It's interesting that she seemingly stopped doing any press after 2006. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, I hope her and the family have managed to find some sort of peace in recent years. But what do you think? Do you think Wolfman was unfairly blamed for Doherty's lifestyle? Or was it always clear that he was making his own choices? Have your say in the comments.